Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop and uh, going to show you my little Spitfire AM medium wave transmitter. A um, lot of talk about DAB radio and analog radio being switched off. Uh, the, the, the trouble is, no one quite knows when this is going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen for years. Um, people want FM, people want AM, they want medium wave and long wave. Uh, anyway, that's another issue. But if it ever happens, what do we do? How do you use, for example, a vintage radio like this if there's nothing on medium wave or long wave? Well, there, there'll be a few foreign stations, but uh, and I think there's going to be, I don't know, something locally there might be, sort of community radio stations. So what do you do? Well, what, one thing you can do, probably the best thing, is get a little transmitter like this. Okay, it's only 100 milliwatts, don't go very far. And all you do, you get with it an adapter, so you plug it in the wall. I've lost mine. <laughs> well, it's not lost. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here, so it's not lost. Um, so what I, all I've got is I've got a 12 volt battery. I'll just clip it onto that. Okay. You need a little aerial. I think you get about nine feet of wire with it. And then you've got audio input sockets at the back for stereo, left and right input stereo. And what I do, use my little MP3 player. Um, in fact, what you could do, you can put any audio in here you like. You can plug that into a, a tape recorder, record player, uh, or if you want to listen, for example, to a station that is only on DAB, assuming you've got a DAB radio, say for example, is it BBC Six Music? I think it's Six, or Radio Four Extra. Tune your DAB radio into that, plug that into your DAB, all right? So you've got audio. Then you can tune on, on here, on your vintage radio, to your transmitter, and listen to Radio 4 Extra, or, or whatever you're putting into here. I'll show you a close-up of this, uh, a photograph. Have a look at this. So there we are. You can see a little bit uh, better now. Uh, that's the, the front of the Spitfire. That's my MP3 player. As I say, any, any audio source will do. Um, it's a nice little unit, 100 milliwatts. You get an instruction leaflet with it, so it covers the whole of the medium wave band. Um, so you, you know, in nine KC steps, you switch the frequency inside. But the the little instruction leaflet will explain that. Now have a look at the shot of the back of it. There, there you've got um, a little phono socket for the aerial. That's that yellow one. Um, Twelve volts input, and then the the stereo audio stereo input left and right whichever way around uh, and that's that so uh, as you can see nice a nice little unit right so what you do is uh, there's the radio you hear the carrier tune into the carrier All right now I can't play music on here because YouTube start thinking I'm doing you know breaking copyright laws and all that stuff so what I can do, though, is put this on. This is the BBC Home Service, and here is a photograph of me saying, Thank you, Freeze Green! Or, as he came there up, we are. Deep Freeze Green! See, there is, uh, I don't wish to know if you can see that, it's the, the goon show. So, uh, if you want, you know, sort of in keeping with your, your kind of 1940s or 50s radio, you play things like uh, Dad's Army or The Goon Show, as I've got here, and uh, the simple sexy wait. How many sexes are there? Two. It's not enough, I say. So there we are. <laughs> Turn that off. Excellent stuff. Um, yeah, all from this. Now you can get these from uh, it's www dot six v six dot co dot uk. Just turn that off. Uh, six as in number six uh, letter v number six dot co dot uk okay six v six dot co dot uk i think they come in a kit form already built you've got a little light there there's a little aerial tuning unit built in so you can tweak that up as i say you get the instruction book with it um and it really is a nice little unit how far does it go 
it doesn't travel five miles you can't cover five miles so you can't set up your own medium wave pirate radio station to cover your hometown <laughs> you could if you put a little linear on the end of it no no we mustn't that's illegal which is a good idea let's build a linear amp for it uh, <laughs> moving on swiftly um, I think it's, uh, is it three metres of wire, whatever you get, nine or ten feet of wire. What you can do, what I've done, I've stuck it on my big wire. Um, it, I think on its own little aerial, it'll, it'll cover your house, you probably hear it out in the garden. I mean, you know, you can listen to it on a transistor radio as well. It doesn't have to be a vintage radio, of course, Any, anything that covers uh, medium wave. Um, yeah, so pretty good. But what you can do, of course, which is what I've done in the past, as a, a demonstration, uh, I did this at one of our uh, my brother-in-law's military vehicle um, evenings. It's all military stuff. They've got jeeps and army trucks and all this. That's rattling. Probably a loose valve. <laughs> what I did, I made up a program on the computer. I made up a program of Winston Churchill speeches and uh, old sort of forties music. Put it all together. Right, stuck it in the transmitter. Then in the uh, in the military place where we were, in having the the dinner and the rest of it, had a radio tuned in, and it was great. It was it was just authentic. There's your your vintage radio with Winston Churchill bashing away out of the speaker. Great stuff. Um, so there's not much more to say about it. That's it. Have a look at the website. I don't know what, how much they are now. I think I paid fifty something for it a couple of years ago, but um, that will solve the problem even before uh, medium wave is switched off the medium wave transmitters in the uk which as i say i don't think they will be but um even if they're not going to be still use this because you've got your own little radio station and it's great if you you know if you want to listen to the goon show or or whatever it mar and uh, clitheroe kid you can get all this stuff on the internet you can actually listen to it on a, a vintage radio that people would have listened to those very programs on all those decades ago. I'm waffling. What was that? I hate it when that happens. Anyway, I am waffling now. So uh, yeah, great fun. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and uh, I'll listen out for you on medium wave if you build your 500 watt linear for it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.